So hello guys, hi. A comparative text, text one, unexpected meeting, and text two, H is for Hawk, Helen, McDonald. Let's look at the background and context of text one. So in this passage, the writer is walking along a beach in a place called Uruguay. So when he comes across a large number of penguins that have been killed by an oil spill, so he finds one that is still alive and decides to rescue it. Okay, well, an exam style question. Compare how the writers present the ideas and perspectives about their experiences from both texts. H is for Hawk and Unexpected Meeting. Both texts are written in the first person, therefore allowing the reader to understand the writer's feelings and experiences and experience event, events with them, both with them rather. Both texts describe meeting a bird or birds for the first time. But text one is by chance and text two is a planned meeting. Both writers are going to be looking after a bird in response to a, tra a tragic event. So in text one, the writer responds to an immediate crisis and in text two, the writer responds to a bereavement. So in both texts, birds are described as being fierce and aggressive, as they feel uh, threatened, as they feel threatened rather. Both texts include a sense of battle between the writer and the bird. Each the text describes a significant moment in the life of the writer. Both texts have a calm opening tone, which changes as the passage progresses. Text one opens with a description of the harbor and sets the scene for the meeting. Whereas text two starts in the media, media race with the two people about to open the box containing the first bird. Human interaction with birds is different in two texts. Hawks have traditionally been trained by their keepers to hunt, but it is unusual for humans to have direct contact with a penguin. In text one, the writer has to make all decisions himself, but in text two, the writer needs the support and the help of another person. Both writers describe their feelings in the passage. In text one, it is a range of horror, anger, and hope. In text two, it is anticipation, amazement, horror, panic, and desperation. Both writers compare themselves to very different characters from Greek mythology. In text one, to Achilles, a warrior hero, and in text two, uh, and in text two, that is to a Medea, a character who experiences overwhelming despair. Both texts contain descriptions of the birds, but the descriptions in text 2 are more detailed, vivid, and poetic. Both writers describe some doubt about what they intend to do, but some may consider the feelings of the writer of text 2 to be more intense. To be more intense. Text 1 includes uh, the writer's feelings about pollution and the world that allows it, but Text 2 just focuses on her thoughts about the hawk. Text 1 describes the writer's attempt to uh, rescue the penguin, but in text 2, the writer is, trying, uh, is buying the hawk to train it. The writer of text 1 is clearly a novice with birds, but the writer of text 2 is knowledgeable. Both texts feature an element of choice. The decision to take the bird home in text 1 is made on the spur of moment, but although the writer of text 2 has planned to take the bird home, the reality of her bird horrifies her and she chooses the other bird. Both texts end with some element of uncertainty, but the sense of drama and suspense is stronger in text 2. The language of text 1 is generally calmer than the fraud and emotive nature of that in text 2. Text 1 has a narrative approach, whereas text 2 is more descriptive with some use of direct speech. So good students, this would mark the end of uh, this video session, but I just again want to tell you that to stay tuned, uh, I mean don't miss to check on the next video, 
because it also entails and also gives more emphasis on the comparative skills until uh, you've mastered uh, the skills of comparing uh, text.